All right. This is Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Uh, it's a well-known, well-respected walking simulator. Uh, I have liked many games in this uh, genre, some more than others. Um, Kale Shipman, uh, our producer, uh, recommended this to me, so I'm going to check it out uh, on the strength of his recommendation and blame him if I don't like it. Uh, he's actually probably going to show up pretty soon. Uh, he, he wanted to sit in while I... Uh, I checked it out, which I appreciate. So, here we go to the rapture. We are we are going to the rapture, everybody. Rapture, here we come. It's as soon as this orange line finishes crossing the screen, we're gonna we're gonna go right to the rapture. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go to the rapture, but it seems like everybody's going to the rapture. So, so maybe I should go too. What do you think? Going to the rapture. Going to the rapture, and we're gonna get... No, wait. Hmm. Wow, this is taking a while. This is taking a while. Take, uh, I thought the rapture was supposed to happen in, like, the twinkling of an eye. Like, it, it seems like it, you know, the rapture is a, is a long, long process. Getting raptured. Oh, 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 this oh. This is Dr. Catherine Collins. Huh? I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. Can you guys hear the dialogue okay? I feel like uh, desaturating my picture was the right move now, because uh, I kind of, kind of go with the game. Hey there, Chronotosis. All right, so here we are. Hmm. Oh, an observatory. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. If I'm right, you should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers, they're all here. The answers are in the light. So not to interrupt the mood or anything, but I'm pretty sure I need higher mouse sensitivity. Uh, there we are. a little better. I think I need to go a little further. This is the most exciting part of the stream where Jeffrey messes with his controls. The game seems to have the opposite problem of uh, Bioshock Infinite, which I found unplayable with a mouse because uh, the sensitivity was so high. Even at the lowest sensitivity, it was ridiculously high. Sounds like a number station. <laughs> Sounds like a Clio drop, actually. Let's see. Oh, what? This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. 
Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area. Do not panic and remain civil and calm. Hey, I just started. Stay tuned awesome. to this station for updates. So, Kale Shipman's coming in to join us. Do you want, did you want to grab some headphones, actually? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it should. You got holes in there, right? Yeah, yeah, so you just... I was poking around outside the observatory. I would say observatory, but this is uh, apparently England. So, observatory seems like uh, the right way to go. So I need to right click. I'm not sure. I'm Apparently, to do my job. I didn't understand what just happened here. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come run into me if you get locked in. If we get locked in. We won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Oh, I guess a jerk. Now piss mm -hmm. off. Okay, so it gave me. Is unnecessary. Oh. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Okay, can we just talk about it? Yeah. That's the woman with the radio, the isn't it? This place and tonight is our best chance to do. You prep the arrays, I'm heading up to Tower 6. Okay. I love you. So is this kind of like, uh... Yeah, right. It feels a little bit like Bioshock, like when we're going around, like, picking up audio logs. Basically. That is exactly like, what it is. It's, um, or it's like the journals and journal pages in Gone Home, right? That's exactly it, yeah. Just really pretty journal pages. Yeah. Because that was really pretty. Yeah. Okay, so when I saw this, it showed me like a picture of a mouse with the right button highlighted. Yeah. And 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 at a left and right arrow, I don't actually know what I was supposed to do. I'm not sure. We'll see when the next one pops up. Yeah, I didn't quite get it. So this is actually a uh, CryEngine. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I saw yeah. that at the beginning. Yeah. No comment. <laughs> um, the slow movement speed helps with the uh, perf issues. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so wait, did I just... Oh yeah, that's how I bypassed the, uh, the barricade. The easily hoppable barricade. This is how I bypassed it. Oh, whoa, hello. Hey, hey, hey you. Hey, come back. Jeremy. Oh, oh, he's gotta go speak in class today. <laughs> Sorry. So I don't know how many of these guys' previous games you've played, like Dear Esther or like Amnesia. I think uh, I started Dear Esther and uh, played a little bit of Amnesia. I didn't get very far in either of them. Yeah, yeah. So I played, I mean, in the genre, I played Gone Home. I right. really liked Gone Home. Yeah. And so I keep feeling like there's got to be another one that I'll like that much. Yeah. I just haven't quite found it yet. Yeah. Yeah. No, these guys are... It's interesting to try and see them solve the same problems in different ways, right? Like, yeah. Uh, and this one, they've got kind of this mechanic of uh, going to these spots and seeing these apparitions appear, which gives you kind of more of the performance, you know, and a little more character to what's going on. Which is C compared to say, like reading something or like, but but yeah. but they've saved themselves the effort of like you know needing to create like unreal, like oh, sorry, like un uncharted fourth type characters and stuff like that. Exactly. So the characters are like yep. bundles of uh, of particle effects. Yeah. <laughs> Which is which is great. I mean, like, yeah, that's not that's definitely not like a criticism or a Te telephone's ringing, man. Oh, you gonna go pick it up? Where is it? Oh, okay. over there. Yeah. Oh, it's a the giant phone box. In the field. <laughs> phone box. So this this looks like it's set in like late eighties, early nineties England. Oh yeah. I think. That could be, yeah. Hello. Hey, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. 
It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back, and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Clive, can you hear one. me? We need help. Who are you? Oh, yeah. So this is one of the, the <laughs> mo yeah. Like I love getting these little clues, right, as to what what might have happened. You just the whole game, you're just trying to piece it together and piece it together. Yeah. You know, like I, I love that that aspect of the mystery. The, the, um, nobody's gonna sit down and just lay out what happened. Exactly. Like, you you get to kind of yeah, yeah figure yeah. out from clues. So okay, so apparently. So I had imagined, when they, because it's called Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, like, I imagined it was going to be some sort of, like, I don't know, religious event, and then it would be in the past, and and there wouldn't oh, be an explanation. But now but now it seems like there's actually sort of meant to be some sort of physical, real explanation for what happened. And, uh... Okay, so I'm moving my mouse to respond to the movements of that mouse, I guess? I'm trying to remember what this mechanic was, because I played it on PS4. Uh, Am I tuning it? Yeah, try and maybe keep it like right there, you know? Right in the middle there. There we go. There we go, okay, okay. Okay, so I expected to be getting feedback from the mouse UI, but that's not, it's just moving by itself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant. <laughs> I'm also not pronouncing patronizing like that. <laughs> oh, silly Brits. Aluminium. <laughs> We're together, you and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? I like how it... Man, all these moody men. <laughs> They're just in touch with their emotions, man. Freaking, freaking men. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> okay, he was making a joke? He just sounds really serious and pissed all the time. Whoa. So doing like day-night transitions between... Yeah. That's interesting. Like uh, moving the sun and everything. So my sister uh, lives in England. Mm -hmm. And this this could be her village. Like, yeah. it's exactly... I mean, it's it's pretty impressive. So I can just go in anywhere I want. I mean, that, that light, that little like, will-o'-wisp or whatever led me away, but... I'm curious, what do you think that is at this point? I, I don't know. I mean, I heard a voice on the radio, which I assumed was a living person, but now I, when I go to, like, phones and stuff, I seem to be hearing voices that had to have been recorded or, like, the, coming from a previous time. So, so, I don't know. Maybe maybe that first message that I got from Kate, followed by the will-o'-wisp running away, maybe that's... Kate in some mm, form. That's interesting. Or so, I don't know. That would be my first guess. Yeah. And she seems to be the star of most of the scenes, uh, or at least the protagonist. Uh, you know, like the yeah. you know the person whose perspective you're expected to yeah. respect. Um. So that's that's my guess so far. I don't know. No, I, it's interesting. I, to I don't know theory. anything. So uh, if you turn around this way real quick, one of the things that I Wh really which way like, am I going? Uh, just left. That, okay. And then keep going. If you look at that. That is a really subtle thing that worked really well for me, just having those doors open, because it implies, right, that, like, something happened. Like somebody, No, no somebody, one leaves their car like e this. Exactly, right? Like, either somebody's coming back, and there's or, blood on like, the seat. something bad happened, right? Um, just a nice, nice can, little touch. So, so there's that light that I could follow, but it's... Everything's open. Like, I can just sort of just... Yeah, I'm just gonna go over here now. Hmm. And so... What is this? I'm hearing a noise. Stereo is very helpful. <laughs> oh, this is a number station again. Extraordinary. The whole thing 
reminds me of high school. Seeing Mars for the first time, that same rush of excitement. <laughs> My hands are shaking. So they were excited about this alignment event. You're going to see something for the first time. It's a big discovery, but then something goes wrong, and something that can be transmitted across phone lines hits them using the observatory as a conduit. They're trying to shut it down. It seems like they anticipated it enough that like they had things like a strike ready, like they had contingencies planned. But so something happens, and hello. So this thing just keep coming to try to get me? Or, oh, now it's going over here. I wonder if I missed something it would have done if I'd chased it before. I, I can't tell whether to assume this thing is scripted in its movements or if it's just moving around. It's very interesting, isn't it? In, in that way. So the right mouse button thing doesn't seem to be doing anything with this guy. He seems to be separate from all of the like memory memory things I've been saying. Man, that is some tasteless wallpaper, but <laughs> also they did these interiors. Like they didn't just Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like so many details yep. that people worked on that, you know, might or might not have ended up in the average person's playthrough, you know? Like yeah. I didn't have to look through that window. Yep. Attention to detail like that, it's hard I mean it's you can definitely see why some games don't do it yeah. <laughs> because I mean it adds it adds something some like subtle depth to the experience like I, I believe this world more because the windows aren't artificially blacked out or or whatever there's one time that, like so, some games where like they really are trying to make a a simple corridor and and make it look like it's an open world but it really isn't one right um there's the start when you start looking at it closely. There's something cheap about like you know every door is missing its door handle. Yeah. Every you know. Right. This game isn't doing that, which is cool. Yeah, and I think uh, a big part of that for me is is like in games where there's just constantly interesting decisions and interactions to be had with the world. Like yeah. the graphics aren't as important, right? But yeah. in something like this, where you're spending so much time walking, you want that that detail and that reinforcement for exploring and and looking at things. So. I can't see the thing well enough to... There we are. I accidentally put the thing against a background that made it hard for me to see it. Oh. And so it's hard for me to tell like when it was moving and what it was doing. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so fast. What are you talking about? It's traveling down the wires. Dear God, when you must avoid it. Where is it? What have you done with that? Don't you understand? It's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over. I'll take it. Look, get off and I'll stop it. We did it. Shit. It's give mine. Can. Give me the I can. can. I need Grow up! Fuck. It's starting to manifest itself everywhere. What did they see? Can't even tell. Come back. Oh, Christ. So, I wonder if it's like a... It's like a first contact scenario. Like maybe there's some alien life form that, that instead of using spaceships, it like broadcasts itself like a transmission. And we've picked it up and now it's infecting the whole world. I want to find out. What is it? Oh, hello. I wonder if I were like. In the heads of the developers, like, if I were literally in this world like as an actual person, what would the thing I'm doing with the right mouse button to make these things pop up? What would I be doing in real life? Am I like attuning my consciousness? That, to that's it? exactly kind of where, where my mind went with it. It's like kind of a focused meditative. Thing. Doing like a like a Professor X. Like. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I didn't read what that was. Oh well, no. it'll be fine. Wait, I wonder if I can re-see it. I can't. It's okay. It seems like it was a short one. Hopefully not the linchpin that will like make me understand this. <laughs> there's there's still a ways to go in this game. Okay. It's big. Like there's a lot of, of game here. Uh, yeah, we only have an hour to yeah. check out. I think I think we get a pretty good sense of the kind of game it is oh, though. Totally, the time that we yeah. have. 
and maybe you'll be able to give me like a, a hint about where it's going. Yeah. You know, without spoiling it for everyone sure. who watches. Well, loaves and fishes we can manage, but Father gun Jeremy, might I have a word? I didn't have to attune to this one. Of course. And will you excuse us, please? I'll uh, see you back at Charlie's later. Cheerio, Hindi. I was speaking to Barbara. She said there were some irregularities about Mary's morphine. Could it makes me want to shoot it like a cinematographer, a you know? Medical yeah, yeah. Barbara should know better than to be discussing that sort of thing with you. If Dr. Wade finds out, he'll have... No choice but to suspend it. Damn it, Wendy. Respect the rule of thirds. Right. Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to like, I'm trying <laughs> yeah. to get them. They keep moving. <laughs> I'm glad it's over for her. Go and support Frank. He needs you. God knows what you did. He sees. I just pray you can overlook Mary's weakness, but you, a man of the cloth, if you, have an issue you with... bring shame on this parish. If you have an issue, I suggest you write to the bishop for the diocese. I have parishioners to attend to. Huh. This is a so it's a Catholic church in England. This guy Jeremy is the <laughs> local priest, I guess. And it seems like that I wasn't really following what the conversation was really about, but I get I'm just missing a bunch of information. But it didn't seem like it was about this apocalyptic event. So that, so the way this game is structured, uh, there's all these different characters that kind of occupy, or like their story is set in different kind of neighborhoods around here. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, I think so we're this on church, Jeremy's. This right? church area is yeah. Jeremy's. Um, and they have a beginning, middle, and end. If you're if you're paying attention, you can sort of see like how that fits in the larger arc uh, of the narrative of this place. All right, so eventually. Something to do with his story is going to connect to the other things that are going on. Exactly right. And then, and so, so really, it's almost kind of like a little anthology set in the same area. It's like there's all exactly. these different little yeah. stories, and then, but then there's the overarching what happened here. Exactly. Thing yeah. tying it all together. Yep. To sort of drive me forward to kind of investigate these little stories that I might otherwise have ignored. Exactly right. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. that noise <laughs> yeah there's something um, important in these games I think about making it feel like leaving some dramatic tension in the air like even if there's no um, enemies or anything like yeah. having those creaky sounds having the, the doors open <laughs> like, if, you, if you keep wondering if you're alone exactly yeah, gone, gone home I just kept expecting it to be a horror game exactly even though yeah. it was not a horror game yeah it keeps me. I was like, I'm gonna find though. a body. Like, yeah. I'm gonna be attacked by a ghost. Right. I'm gonna like the whole time. Yeah. Even though, it, like, it should have been obvious to me at some point. Right. That was not the game I was playing. <laughs> okay. It doesn't seem like there's anybody in here. Oh, what's this noise? Aw. Flowers are still fresh. This must have happened recently. Or there's something creepy keeping everything fresh. So this is England, so this entire mound is just bodies. <laughs> just <from laughs> thousands of years. <laughs> That's why the church is built on a hill. That's right. <laughs> just years and years of graveyards. Can I? Okay, so I can't go through this hedge, so... I've got to go all the way around the freaking hedge. Come on, guys. Yeah, this is one of those things I'm just like... I don't know. Yeah, in real life, I'm trying to what, like, would I have just jumped over right. a hedge or would I have walked around? Yeah. If I would have walked around in real life, then maybe that's legit. Some I people would have, for sure. I don't know. If everyone was missing, though, I almost feel like I would just be running all the yeah. time. Like, right? yeah. I gotta find somebody. Uh, oh, hey there. Arcanus and Turvama have joined us. Let's see here. Arcanus is like, oh, it loaded. I spent the beginning of this just sitting there waiting for the orange bar to finish uh, crossing the screen, and it took a long time, so I think Arcanus left during that part. Uh, look at all these textures, man. I know, man. It's gotta load in. Very, very high res. Yeah. Oh, 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 hey, there's a little Will-O-Wisp. So now I'm starting to wonder if this thing is the life form that arrived that 
you know, cause the disaster. Ah! I don't want to swing things into my face. Yeah. My, oh, it's like a little horse gate. My daughter has writing lessons today. Oh really? Yeah. So yeah. So she got she got tired of piano. Like like my oldest daughter is super into piano lessons. Like uh -huh. she, she's getting to be a really good musician. She also takes orchestra now in like the fifth grade. That's cool. And she she's pretty good at music. The second daughter like would just would never practice. She yeah. just wasn't interested. But she is obsessed with animals, and so we got her writing lessons. Yeah, we, got, we got them cheaper. We got her doubled up with a friend, so they're like yeah. they're cheaper and everything. Yeah. If you but, get just one of those like you know cushy like comptroller jobs at a big company then she can work three days a week and ride horses you know <laughs> uh, that sounds great that, that that would be she keeps telling me that she wants to like work on a farm or something like that. I'm okay. like yeah a farm yeah, yeah. a farm is you don't know what kind of work you do yeah. at a farm station. I shut down too so there's no way in or out of the valley they're obviously serious about this food thing Phil doesn't think it's food at all he said he's been practicing medicine for 30 years and he's seen plenty of flu and he said this doesn't feel right at all. Well, there's nothing of any use on the radio. So we'll make everyone be started. Yes, but to be honest, there's not really that much to discuss. This quarantine is in place. There's roadblocks and everything. No one really seems to know anything, but people are definitely missing. More of them too, not just a couple of old biddies. No one's <laughs> seen Sullivan since yesterday and the house is just sitting there unlocked. I just got back from the farm. All of Frank's cows died in the night. He's devastated. Oh, man. Has he had enough for one day? First Mary, now this. Well, if no one's coming in to sort this mess out, we're just going to have to do it ourselves. Barbara, get Phil to do a stock take on medication. Jeremy, put the word out for people to congregate at the village hall. It's so they can all be killed together. For the time being. <laughs> I'll organize supplies. We'll have a lot of hungry mouths to feed. There's plenty at the depot, but let's start with what's here in the village. I'll draw up a rotor. Charlie, can you help me with that? Anything for you, Meg. The whole concept of a village just doesn't exist in most of America. Right? Yeah, it, it, and it's, it's still a very big thing uh, over there. Like, they, they definitely identify with the little villages they live in. Yeah, I mean, we have tiny towns, but it's just it's not the same feel yeah, as an English village. Totally. So, the village hall or whatever it is, like, I feel like that's where I want to be. Uh, it seems like something probably happened there. Well, there goes... Sparky, uh, his name is Sparky now. <laughs> but so, so I think I did find the the dream, the good, the ideal job for my second daughter uh, who loves animals. We went over to the uh, Monroe Reptile Zoo. Oh. And uh, one of my like this girl that I taught basically Sunday school to like ten years ago or something like that. Is, yeah. She's now working as like the main like reptile handler Whoa. and demoer for children Dang. at the reptile zoo. So That's she like crazy. she gets out snakes yeah. and iguanas and tells oh, me about. And she actually studied as an entomologist, which would be. Oh, which, so oh, so she was yeah. also getting out stick bugs and like putting them on Phoebe. And, oh yeah. Yeah, she was just like. Oh, that's like great. she had bugs on her and she loved it. There you go. And there you I was go. like, I so yeah, so getting to basically introduce animals to children all day, I think sounds like her dream job. Totally. <laughs> that's pretty cool. The crap is this. Uh, is this rugby? Maybe. Is that is that yeah. how you play the rugby? I think it's I think it's the rugby. I don't know much about the rugby. Uh -huh. Well, apparently, uh, Sparky wants to come out and play rugby because I think this is where he was leading me. Football. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really exciting version of soccer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. One in, uh, like these games are interesting. Uh, like as I play these, I always, I always I always ask myself like, what is the benefit to telling a story this way versus just making a movie about this event? Right. Yeah. Or, or writing a short story or exactly. something like that. Yeah. I, I mean, and one of the things that games can give you um, is choice. You know, like Telltale. Yeah. Uh, this one doesn't give you that though, it just presents it. But what it does give you is uh, control over pacing. And so. I was about to say, so yeah, you can yeah. sort of experience it at your own pace. So if, if I want to look at every detail of the village and get all of this, like, oh, there's this place where something might have happened here, yeah. something might have happened there. Yep. And if I want to pick up all of that atmosphere, I can spend my time on it. Exactly. Or if I want to rush ahead. The thing is, it's helpful if they give me, like, like that, you know, Sparky? Yeah. I don't quite know where Sparky went. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if I do, like, I kind of do want to experience the story at a little bit of a faster pace, just so totally, that totally. I can get through more in the hour that I've got. Exactly. And yeah. um, see, I'm just going to like switch hands here so I can reach my pocket and get my phone out. Yeah. 
So, this is how I'm playing the game. One <laughs> finger <laughs> sitting on the keyboard. Okay, there we go. Uh, all right, hit the hit the wall there. Uh, but yeah, so it's like if I wanted to find Sparky right now and move the story forward, I actually am not sure where I would go. Uh, I think it might have been across the across the fence. Sparky, search for Sparky. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's gone to the rapture. The uh, yeah, I think my uh, daughter named her Jolteon Sparky. No, no, she named uh, her Eevee Sparky yeah. in Pokemon Go to turn him into a Jolteon. Right, right. And that actually worked. Yes. She didn't know that that, like, she, I wasn't oh, she sure. she didn't know. No, 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 I wasn't sure that it was going to be a real thing, oh. but then it was totally a real thing. That's funny. Oh, okay, I think I see Sparky way off in the distance over there. Uh -huh. So think about, like, it, the, the village center, like, or the village hall, like, I wish I knew where the village hall was. I, I, like, that's where I want to go next, but right. I, I'm kind of... Cleverly constrained, like I always feel like it's a big open world. I can always find a way out, but I'm pretty sure I'm being constrained. I, I'm pretty sure that like there's a winding path that I kind of have to follow. It's in a kind of order. a weird, branchy path that goes around like that. Yeah. Hey, buddy, where are you going? Can I do? Can I do the thing? No. Oh, this is. Whoa. Ah, where are you going? Hey, hey. Are you avoiding my? My gaze. <laughs> so it was interesting when I when I played this. Um, I actually avoided Sparky as much as possible because I wanted to kind of break it a little bit, like and, yeah. and go to the edges. And and I actually really regretted playing that way because the narrative mm -hmm. ended up being pretty disjointed for me. Oh. And I wish I'd experienced yeah. it a little more linearly. Have you listened to the phones? No, I thought they were all dead. There's a strange kind of static now. I think I heard numbers in it. It sounded like the American woman. Kate, she's still alive. No one's seen it. I is Charlie back? Not yet, no. I'm sorry. That's all right, Father. Listen, you go on ahead. I'll just rest here a little longer. Well, and then explode. So this is kind of an interesting thing they do is like reference characters before they've actually been formally introduced. Yeah. You know, by one of these cutscenes. Like like the Charlie character that. Yeah. I don't know who um, that is yet. Yeah, and it, it kind of just builds a little context around what you're about to see before you see it. If is, I can remember it, like one of the problems yeah, is like yes, because you know I'm gonna I'm gonna end this session at some point and yeah. then I'm gonna not play it again for a little while. Yeah. And I, will I be able to maintain the thread? Like, is this something that I need to actually sit down with for whatever number of hours yeah. and just play it back to back? Yeah, I would recommend to anyone who's thinking about playing this to play it uh, in one sitting. Set aside, I think it takes uh, three or four hours, something like that, and just just play it through beginning to end. Oh, hey, get through here. I want to drive this car. This is a pretty <laughs> sweet car. Oh man. 80s convertible. Yeah. Nice. What what make of car is that? Mm. <laughs> okay, so Sparky went that wait, which way did Sparky go? No, Sparky went this way. Sparky went this way. So you know why Project Spark is called that, right? Uh I don't know. What? There's actually a character in it that's a spark that shows you how to do everything. Oh, um, is his name yeah. Sparky? His name is Spark. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ultimate Project Spark level. That's right. Oh, man. Oh, I would love to see somebody recreate this in Project Spark. It's, have they shut it down, though? I don't know. I got the sense that they actually they officially put it into it. the content management it. service? Yeah, my, yeah. Uh, my kids were actually... Yeah, Microsoft sometimes does that. They, like, shut yeah. down stuff. Like, yeah. You remember the... Um, the sort of connect fun labs or yeah. whatever it's like they yeah. like googly eyes yeah. I think Chris Willoughby worked on some totally, of that stuff yeah. um, my daughters loved it yeah. and now and then they'll come back to me they'll ask me why did Microsoft shut down googly eyes I want googly eyes and we can't download it again like you can't get it uh, again why I don't know but Weird. but yeah it was it was but they're so sad and I, I told Chris and he was like oh man yeah you know, he, he felt bad too because it's like you know he made this thing. And my kids yeah. loved it, but they can't play it anymore. I wonder if uh, 
it, if that was a service-based game, like it had a back end that I had to connect to. Maybe so, I mean, may, so maybe, maybe it was, it was all about money. sort of uh, doing research into how people interact with Connect and stuff like that, and how, how often these ideas work. Oh, and stuff yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. If it was mostly a research project, yeah. then I could see it being, that being sort of, yeah, a yeah. necessary part of it. It's lame, though, I mean, yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I mean, I, there's no, no, you know, knock against Microsoft because I really liked the thing they made. Yeah, and totally. my kids really liked the thing they made. Yeah. And I want to have more of it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going back to the church, I guess, or back near the church. Hey there, Avuki. Well, uh, so Avuki is a pro-level speedrunner, and uh, this oh, awesome. is the opposite of yeah. a speedrunner type game. Oh, man. The game whose entire enjoyment is about not speedrunning. <laughs> I'm sure somebody's figured it out, though. Somebody's oh, figured yeah. out, like, the like, right crack to get path to, to, get, like, yeah. to, like, to, like, 100% it. Like, you have to know, like, what all the scenes you have to watch are. There's probably, there's probably rules for speedrunning this game. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so it made it. Oh. Oh, do not attempt to leave. You will be detained. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area. So it's like, yeah, as long as no one makes any long-distance phone calls, the thing can't get out, I guess? Mm. So, okay, this feels like a very, very open part of the map. I'm not even sure. Oh, oh, hey, Sparky. Whoa. So they have this guy, like... It'd be interesting if sort of what, they, what they're really doing is like, hey, we want you to come here next. And so periodically we're gonna have Sparky start somewhere and go there. And so you can find where it wants you to go. Like I could see that being the rule set. Yeah. And it's just got like some little like weird, you know, code that has it sort of navigate by a little windy path. Yes. So whenever it gets really close to me, it's just flying around me and doing weird stuff like that. Kind of reminds me of that scene near the end of um, the Final Fantasy Spirits Within movie. Oh yeah, where, where it's like, where uh, uh, it's like, ooh, it's warm. Yeah, you know, it's like the, the spirit goes through <laughs> totally, his chest, and totally. he's like, oh, or like Poltergeist, or like, oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't remember. Or the, the, the ghost well, like, oh, them on the yeah, stairs. yeah, oh, that's yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Uh, so the, now, so the shitty way. thing about Sparky. Uh, and this hit me hard when I played it. Is this? It ha it also doubles up at the save point system. So oh. if you follow it to certain checkpoints along the way, it'll save. And then if you if you go away from it, it'll pull you back to that last checkpoint and then lead you to the next thing. Oh, okay. The problem is I got way way ahead of it, and I quit and came back, and my progress was like, like way behind. Way Back. Oh yeah. wow, yeah. that that sounds yeah not fun. And it's not giving you any another another reason to do right? it. Yeah, another reason to do it in one sitting, right? Yeah. Yep. So can I interact with you, Sparky, or are you just? Ibuki's talking about uh, oh. speed running a puzzle game. That's interesting. I would like to see a speed run of like the room or something like that, where it's just you know flipping through everything super oh, yeah. fast. And up and, yeah. <laughs> when you said the room, at first I thought of the movie. Oh yeah. I was like, you want to get through that as fast as possible. <laughs> okay, so it seems like there's something important here. Um. Oh, the village hall emergency meeting. Oh, Sparky. Right. I don't know where it wants me to go. <laughs> I want to see more story. Oh, map. You are here, and there's little bugs <laughs> near me, I guess. And I don't know what those little bugs are. Uh. Oh, hey. Let's just let's start poking around at these houses, I guess. Well, not that one then. Mm. Man, detail. Man, can you imagine how much this house would cost in Seattle? <laughs> <laughs> A yard like this, mm -hmm. and oh man, pa paying the gardener. <laughs> Ibuki just linked us to a speed run of the room. Would yes. you like to check out after this? Yes. I'm gonna watch that. 
The magnetic field is causing disruptions to phone signals and the rest of the electrics. There are voices on the line. It's 4 a.m. Maybe everyone is up looking at the light show. Yeah, The Room is one of those movies that, like, some people really love it as just like, oh, let's watch this bad movie, ha ha ha. Right. Just having seen two minutes of it, it's I don't think I, I don't think I could tolerate it. Yeah. I don't think I could actually sit and watch like because yeah. like the embarrassment would be so bad, you know. Like I just wouldn't. Yeah. I'd be like, oh oh yeah, humiliated to be watching it. it. It's so cringeworthy. I mean, it is. Yeah. I think you have to have like a severe lack of empathy. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh. I mean, one of those people who just revels in, in human suffering. Yes, right? exactly. Like, yeah, the type of people who do tease other people or like, you know, constantly or, yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is embarrassing. It's just really sad. Yeah, so Avuki <laughs> says that uh, they, they've never actually watched the movie The Room. Just Google, uh, Google yeah, some Google, scenes. Google it, yeah, yeah. You'll see any, any scene will, get will tell you exactly <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> Oh yeah, Ivuki recommends speedrun.com by the way as a, as a way to just track down speedruns of any of any game oh, you're nice. interested in. So that, yeah. that's actually really nice. Yeah. Oh 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 this might actually be a place with some stuff going on. <laughs> Which is good because I think we're running low on time. What time yeah. is it? Yeah, we have like twelve minutes left. I mean that's really the the downside to this approach, right, of like building a completely open entire town, right? Yeah. Like, Where's the important stuff? Like, yeah, because do he, I care about having access to all of this, or do I really just want, you know, the the juicy stuff? Yeah, and if, and if I mean, there are some players who will definitely want to find every single detail. Yeah, and so so you can set up a game where where there's a clear path for the linear people, yeah. and there's also totally, a way totally. to explore. And this, it seems that they just kind of focused fire on the one yeah. kind of experience. Yeah, which you know. My, you, know, you could criticize that decision, or you could accept it as, you know... This is just what they chose to make. Yeah, exactly, yeah. which is which is legit. Yep. I mean, I... There's plenty of people moving around now. He's looking for Dr. Wade. Listen, Frank. I don't know what's happened, but your Steven seems to think he's responsible. Uh, I reckon he is. <laughs> he said, uh... Kate's still up at the observatory, but the gates are locked. Frank... Bet I'm going to end up in the, at, soon, back at the observatory at some point. We're going to send planes away. This path that is, we're in the center of it. Which means if they intend to stop it, we're right in the highway now. I mean, if some conventional, like, airstrike or something could even affect what's going on here, right? Hmm. So they keep talking about there being some kind of strike they're going to launch, but... The place isn't destroyed, so either the strike is still incoming, or somehow it was prevented. Either someone local here decided not to do it, or stopped it, or maybe this thing got out fast enough that it prevented its own strike. See, this is this is one of the things that's nice about this game, is that it, it creates these, uh, you know, there's an overarching mystery, and then there's little mysteries within that, and, yeah. you know, red herrings, and all, all that kind of stuff. It's, uh, keeps you guessing, yeah. which is nice. Uh, uh... Uh, just numbers. So oh, somebody left a Cleo drop. <laughs> just pat ourselves on the back there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I was gonna say about like just coming to peace with like the choices that developers make in games, like yeah. I was playing No Man's Sky last night, and I'm like, you know what? This game's fine. Like, it's <laughs> yeah, exactly. fine. Like, like it's just not, chill out. Like, it's, it's not like the second coming or something, right. but but yeah. that's fine. I never thought it was going to be the second coming. I thought it was going to be a neat game. Exactly, and it's just it a is neat kind of thing. a neat game. Yeah. You know? Yeah. A neat game with some neat tech, and right. that's that's all what it, it should be. Exactly. It's all in the expectations management. Yeah. So, uh, is there any like particular game like uh, after packs and stuff that you're particularly interested in right now, Kale? While I'm following Sparky, mm. I'm what? really looking forward to Night Night in the Woods. 
Um, oh, yeah, I only watched a little bit of that. My, my kids were yeah. too impatient to sit and watch sure, enough of it. Yeah, that was uh, one in the PAX 10 booth, right? It is. It was. Yeah. Uh, I just really like. Um, there's some really clever writing in there. Uh, it's it's very entertaining. I, I played. They released like a demo right before last uh, Christmas, uh -huh. and it was like a whole separate little story arc that you played through, and it was so. It delivered, right? Like it, 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 yeah. it, it was just entertaining and, and delightful, and I'm looking forward well, to the full full version of that, for sure. What's this guy saying? Is Jeremy the last one left? Got them all. Yep. Uh, you got them all. He sounds completely different now that he's despairing and alone. Christ, help me, oh Lord, give me strength. You do not see legitimately religious characters depicted in video games very often. No. <laughs> yeah, right, you, totally, right? You, you'll, see, you'll see, like, sometimes you'll see no, re religious there? villains. Yeah. That's a bit, like, you don't see someone Or it's, like, like, ironic, or, like... Yeah. yeah or, or over the top, yeah. But this oh, is, like, oh. he's legitimately praying for help, and... He was still here, then. Yeah. Should have expected that. What? Come on then. Let's get this over and done with. I've got my parishioners to attend to. What? Who is he talking to? Or was that him in the process of ascending or whatever himself? <laughs> He seems less present now. I wonder if the experience of coming in here would have been different if I hadn't already been here. Like, mm. so I saw there's something shiny up here by the altar. It's spark, sparky. Or maybe it's a memory thing. I think it's a memory thing. Hey Dan31, glad you Good made morning. it. Oh, here we go. He's gone out through all the earth. And the words to the end of the world. In them. Have you set a tabernacle for the sun? Oh, Father, who art in heaven? Hallowed be thy Well, it feels to me like Sparky might have absorbed all these people and their memories and is presenting them to me now. Well, it's... Now, those little dust motes seem like they might... We haven't seen those before. Maybe that's what happens at the moment of him dispersing. Sparkification. Sparkification, whatever <laughs> happened there. Well, I think this might be a good time to quit. Yeah. Yeah. We're running out of time, got but we got to the arcs. end of a little yeah. arc, and, yeah. and yeah. So, but this yeah. is a really neat game. Yeah. Very atmospheric. Yep. Very, uh, you know. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's, it's kind of an interesting, newfangled way to tell stories. Yeah, and, I would yeah. be very curious if, if you do end up uh, getting some time to play through the whole thing. I'd be curious to talk to you about the ending. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll see if I yeah. can. Yeah, I, get, I try to play so many games; it's hard for yeah, me to devote no, some time to these. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if, if you never hit it up again. But <laughs> but still, yeah. yeah, if I do, yeah, we'll definitely have to talk about yeah. it. Um, thanks everybody in the audience for being here, and thanks Kale for showing up. Thanks Good, for having yeah, me. Love yeah, having you here. It's fun. And uh, yeah, I guess. Well, what time is it? It's like yeah, it's time to go. So we'll go uh, do some work and uh, see y'all later. Thanks everyone. <laughs>